Okay, well, I came back to this slide because what, what do we see? What, with this linearization, what's happening? Well, when we have a concave down uh, curve, we seem to be overestimating our value here. So if we draw that tangent line, that's going to be above. So we're over what the actual value is. So that's the actual value. This is what we're coming up with. And so we're overestimating. Okay. Now what happens is, what if we have a crooked curve here? What if we could do instead, we have a concave up? Okay. Well, and now if you think about this, no matter where we drew this tangent line on this one, you know, we could draw, we can try to draw, we can uh, drawing crooked on a thing where I can't see the actual curvature of the page. So if we draw that tangent line, you know, we're going to overestimate. If we draw here, that's going to be overestimating as well. So every time we have a concave down, we're drawing above the, the tangent line above our curve. And so we're overestimating. But what if we have a concave up? You know, it's increasing concave up. Well, every time here, we're drawing it under. And so here's where it should be. This is our value we're getting. So what are we doing here? We're underestimating. And so does that work everywhere? Yeah, this is where it should be. This is where we're getting it. And so we're underestimating when we have it under. So concave up, tangent lines are always going to be under our curve, so we're going to always underestimate. Concave down, we're always going to have a tangent line above the curve, and so we're going to overestimate. So that comes into play on the next couple kind of questions. So this one says, for fiddler crabs, the weight of the claw can be modeled as 0.11 w to the 1.54 pounds, where uh, the weight of the body is w pounds. And they want us to describe the direction and concavity of f for positive values of w. All right, so let's go get our calculator and let's actually do that. All right, so we're in our calculator now. So we type in our 0.11x to the 1.54. We hit the graph. And what's it look like? Well, it looks like it's concave up and increasing. All right, so let's write that. It's a. A is concave up and increasing, okay? And again, we're only looking at pos positive values of W. So, you know, it's looking like this. And so for positive values of W, will linearization of F overestimate or underestimate the values of the function explained? Well, if we go back to what we just kind of talked about a little bit earlier, if we look at the tangents, no matter where we draw those tangents, and I'm just kind of exaggerating it out here, it's below the uh, actual curve, and so it's going to underestimate, okay? So it's underestimate the function values. And it's because the tangents are drawn below the curve. Okay, So that's kind of really what it is. Because if you think about it, it's always going to be below. It's underestimating all of those. Okay. All right, what about this one? OK, so this one, we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have to go, and we're going to have to draw that in and see what it looks like. So this one, I didn't actually go ahead and plug in. So we'll go over here, and we'll type it in. So we have our negative uh, 2.63x squared, and then plus 29.52. That's x and plus 13.5 and 2, OK? And so what do we get for a graph here? Uh, we need to change our windows, what we need to do. So it's going to be 0. And it said we're only going to go from 0 to 10, if I remember right. So let's go by 1. And it looks like that max was too small, so let's do 100. I don't know where we're going to be. Maybe we'll go by 10, OK? 
So that's the shape of our curve. So again, we really don't care beyond that what it is. So let's go ahead and come back over here and think about our curve here. So that's what it is. So it's going to be the direction and concavity. Well, A, the concavity is concave down. Okay. But what do we have? We have a change of direction here. So we actually need to find that change of direction. So let's go back. And what we'll do is we'll find the max at four. Okay. Well, okay. We'll say that is the left, that is our right, and this is our point where it's going to change directions. So at x is 5.61 and 96.3589. So let's write those down. And so our point was 5.61. Uh, and I don't know, do we want 2166 comma? And then it was 138.00573, I think. Think, or I might have written it down wrong, or remembered it wrong, or did I write the wrong equation in here? That could be one of the two. Uh, 2.63 negative x squared plus 29.52 x 13.52. I just wrote it down wrong on my thing here, so let's go back here. And we want that four, and we want the max again. So that's that. That's some over here. Somewhere in here's the max. All right, so let's write that one down again. So it's uh, 96.355589. Okay, so I wrote that wrong. Now we go back over here and we can erase that. And so it was 96.355589. And so what we have really, and really after this one, this is all we need here because that's where it's going to go from, you know, increasing to decreasing. So it's going to be increasing from basically 0 to 5.61, and it's going to be decreasing from and 5.61 to, and we said it was going up to 10 here, okay? So that's our, our value. And I guess this is still all part A, so we shouldn't have a B yet. Now B though says, will a linearization of S always overestimate the function values? Well, yeah, if you think about it, it's always gonna be drawn on top. No matter where we draw that tangent, it's gonna be always on top. So we're gonna say yes, the tangent line will always be above the uh, function graph. And therefore, overestimate. OK. And so that's what we have for that one. All right, so that I believe is all I have. So hopefully that will help you on this section.